most day-to-day -to -day functions don't have limits as x goes to infinity. One class of functions that stars or sometimes does is rational functions. Remember that a rational function is one polynomial divided by another. And this is a quotient, but we can't use a quotient rule. As x goes to infinity, any polynomial goes to either infinity or negative infinity. So individually, this limit doesn't exist, and this limit doesn't exist. But the limit of the quotient might. And let me first state the mathematical fact our trick is based on. If we've got a limit as x approaches infinity of some constant k divided by x, raised to another constant. This limit is zero. And the trick we use for finding this limit, as I say, is based on this. And the trick is to take this rational function and divide the numerator and the denominator by the same thing. We can do that. It doesn't change the fraction. And in particular, we're going to divide the numerator and the denominator by the highest power of x that appears in either of them. An example might clarify things. We'll find the limit as x goes to infinity of this rational function. And we look at our powers of x. We've got first, second, third powers of x. So the biggest power of x that appears is x cubed. So we divide both the numerator and the denominator by x cubed, the highest power of x that appears. And now when you look at this, we can break this up. When we have a fraction like this, addition and subtraction up here, a single term down here, that breaks up like so. And this fraction down here also breaks up. So this limit becomes, and now we have this. And it might look like this is worse than what we started with. Actually, it's a lot simpler. We can cancel those x cubes. And this x squared and this x cubed partially cancel. And this x and this x cubed partially cancel. And this x squared and this x cubed partially cancel. And now the limit of a quotient is the quotient of the limits, as long as both of the limits exist. We couldn't use that fact 
object appear because as x goes to infinity, this limit doesn't exist and this limit doesn't exist. But what happens now as x goes to infinity? Well, constants go to constants and scrolling back up here, every single other term is going to zero. That goes to zero, that goes to zero. And we're simply left with four thirds. So you see this trick has allowed us to take this limit. 